Each week, we show you what health inspectors found at local restaurants. Here's Joe Chioto with your request. It's Restaurant Report Card. Our first stop, Cafe 110. That's near 12th and Farnham. About two weeks ago, the restaurant received a standard rating, which is about middle of the road. Inspectors found 15 violations. Four of those were critical. Open foods were found without a date mark, leaving no way to know whether or not they were expired. The inside of the cooling units needed cleaned, and raw chicken and eggs were found above foods. Inspectors noted that many of these violations were repeats from their last inspection. Moving on, we head to Clancy's near 168th and West Center. Here, inspectors found 19 violations. Three of those were critical. The inspection happened on January 6th. Temperatures were an issue here. Turkey soup was found at 52 degrees when it should be at or below 41. It was immediately thrown out. On the ice scoop, inspectors found mold. They did return the next day and noticed a huge improvement, though. They noted the cooler had been fixed. Our final stop, Jackson Street Tavern in the Old Market. Just a week ago, inspectors gave it a standard rating. Again, that's not the worst, but they did find meat in the cooler three weeks old. It was immediately thrown out. They also noted the region cooler had excessive condensation. Restaurants receiving favorable reviews this week, McAllister's Deli at 124th and West Center and the Cove Lounge and Grill. That's at 144th and Maple. With your WWT6 News Restaurant Report Card, I'm Joe Chiodo. Health Department says those restaurants all fixed the majority of violations during the inspection, earning them a rating, a, a, a Ray rating standard. Well, the possible ratings are superior, excellent, standard, and fair. If you have a restaurant you want us to check out, email joe.chiodo at wowt.com.